Welcome to another edition of Cisco Unboxed here at our Buffalo Ingram Micro Business Transformation Center. I'm Dan Stewart and today I'm excited to show off our latest addition to our Catalyst product portfolio of switches, the new Catalyst 1000 series. First thing I want to show off with this new family is it looks a little different than the other Catalyst portfolio of 9300s and 9200s. These actually have a full metal enclosure, but now it's a white exterior. So you can kind of see these are different in an environment compared to your other Catalyst switches as they work across the board. Nice thing about this family is you do have two configuration options. One of these switches actually is a smart managed switch, which has a base built in web user interface GUI running Cisco configuration professional on board. And also in this edition, we have the option with full web GUI still, but also the addition of a command line interface from a console port. We can also extend that console functionality with these devices via Bluetooth. We can add a Bluetooth adapter and now we can connect to our devices over a Bluetooth pairing link. Both these devices do have a command line interface, just the smart managed switch is only there for show commands. You can view information and that's kind of about it. On the full command line version, you do get the full ability to go in and configure the switch from a command line level if you choose to use that and or the web interface that's built in as well. The two devices that we have in front of you today are 24 port editions. These switches also come in port densities of 8, 16, 24, and even 48 ports. Most of these devices actually are fanless in their model types. These two switches here actually do run full PoE, PoE Plus, and do support the need for a full moving fan inside the device. Most 48 port devices as well also are full fan based. If you look at the back, we can see that those fans are fixed inside the interface. We also have a fixed power supply as well, and only one at that for this uh, model family. We also can take a look at the front of the device, which does have built-in fixed uplink interfaces if we need to extend that with SFP ports. They do come in options of SFP 2 or 4 ports, or they do have the option both in 1 gig and 10 gigabit per second options, so you really want to be specific to know which device you're looking at and your future uplink needs or SFP connectivity ports. Join me next and we'll look at the actual interface, both web and command line, of these two switches. <laughs> 